before we begin, make sure to get permission and to have adult supervision while trying out these activities. Also, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Hello there, adventurers. Do you like painting? Well, today's five minute learning adventure is just for you, where we will teach you five easy painting techniques that will help you add detail, texture, and color to your beautiful creations. So let's get started. This lesson pairs well with the book, Mix It Up by Herv Tulip. After reading the book, use your knowledge of mixing and making new colors with our lesson to help you make a connection to the book and extend your learning. Okay everyone, this is going to be a fun lesson. I just love painting. But before we start, let's make sure we have all the materials. Since we're going to try five different painting techniques, we will need a few things. Paper, tempera paint, a sponge, a plastic fork, cotton swabs, a straw, a toothbrush, water to rinse the paint tools, paper towels. It might also be a good idea to wear a paint smock and cover the area you will be painting on with a clean tablecloth or newspaper, just in case of some spills. All right, here we go. We'll start with sponging. Sponging is a great way to create some texture. When you use a brush, it dries to look pretty smooth. But when you use a sponge like this, it looks like it has a rough texture. Isn't that pretty awesome? Something you will need to remember here is to press and lift. Do not smear it across like this, or else you won't see the sponge texture. Try it with different colors too. It's a great way to mix colors together, just like this. Our second technique uses cotton swabs like these. This one is like a two-in-one technique. First, because the cotton swab is small and thin, you can use it to create thin lines just like these plant vines. Second, like the sponge, if you dab it rather than using it like a brush, it will create small circles like this. Use it to make dot patterns like these flowers. Or connect a bunch of cotton swabs together to make a bigger dot pattern like I used for these bigger flowers over here. Another great technique to create texture in your painting is by using a fork. There's a couple of ways to use our fork in our paintings. You can dip and stamp like I did to create the sun over here. Or you can just use the points on the fork to create lines in the paint like I did for the grass. We're going to need a straw for this next trick. We're going to blow the paint to create a design. First, drop a small dab of paint on your paper. Then, use your straw to blow. Watch this. Isn't that pretty awesome? You can even try rotating your paper to make the design go in all different directions. Now, our last technique uses a toothbrush, and just a little warning, it could get messy. 
you'll want to keep your paper towels close by to wipe your hands afterwards. So first, you'll dip your toothbrush into the paint. Then, use your finger to swipe the bristles to create these cool paint splatters. How awesome is that? Just a little note, don't reuse the toothbrush again. There, now you've learned five new painting techniques that you can try out separately or even together to make one awesome painting. I wonder what you will create. Now it's time to think about it. Let's look at some questions to help us reflect on our learning today. What different texture patterns did you make with these painting techniques? Do these patterns look like anything you can find around your house or outside in nature? Can you think of any other paint tools that you can use to create texture in your paintings? Why don't you try them out? Maybe you'll discover a new technique and teach me a thing or two. Now what are you waiting for? Go ahead and start painting. Have fun discovering, learning, and creating. And then we'll see you again very soon for another 5-Minute Learning Adventure.